No to ESO. 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 Hey, we got good two more buses coming in the other side, boys. Say no! ESO! Say no! ESO! Say no! ESO! We're against the ESO grade that Balfour Beatties and NG Baileys are rolling out here at Inkley Point C. ESO is the electrical support operative which they would say at Hinkley has been taken off the table and the training standards that were associated with it have been taken off the table, but what they haven't said is that they're actually trying to bring in a HSO, so they're changing a the letter, they're making it a Hinkley support operative. The de-skilling agenda is still on the table here. They still want labourers going through a training course. Two eight-week courses, the first one being electrical containment course, eight weeks, second one being a cable pulling course, eight weeks, and that eventually, if it gets rolled out and accepted, will take 80% of the electrical work on Inkley Point C away from electrical skilled tradesmen. Obstruct the highway. Really clear on this. Do not stop the highway. Can you stand <laughs> off the road then for me? Thank it's you. It's obstructing the highway. We're just crossing a road. It's dangerous. You can wave your flag, wave your banner. It's not so I'm not allowed as a public citizen. I'm not allowed to cross the road. I'm not asking you not to cross in front of the traffic because it's dangerous. Let oh, the traffic through. It's a safe point for crossing in the middle of the road. It's hard to stop. It's like a giveaway. It's got to stop anyway, it's a giveaway. Are you not putting yourself in danger? If a bus has not seen danger? me from up there, then they shouldn't be on the road. We need to do a fucking four year apprenticeship to be a qualified smart. They're training people to do all the metal, do you know, all the metal work. They're training for six weeks and putting them on. So now they're not taking on apprentices. They're not, there's got to be less work for us and they're paying them less. It's basically just them trying to save money. And they're de scaling the trade and they're going to end up with these jobs. There's probably a thousand electricians within a hundred mile radius that have been waiting for this job to start for 10 years. A blue book agreement, meaning good rates of pay, bonuses, good standards of work. Basically, it's all gone to shit. We're bringing in this ESO grade and crap standards of work. We're not going to accept my livelihood and all these guys' livelihoods and everyone that's coming into the trade's livelihoods getting put at risk by work getting done by unskilled workers. With what's happening here, you could have a disaster happen on a nuclear power station. We can't have that. We cannot have these accidents happening due to people not being trained properly. Most of it's HV work, high voltage, and to be bringing that in on a nuclear site is just outrageous. We saw what happened with Grenfell. We can't allow this to happen again. Unskilled people, anyone can just do it without fear of law interfering. What we need on this job is apprenticeships and adult traineeships for these workers so they can actually have career progression in their working lives. We just want to put a message out to Balfour's and Baileys that unless the ESO grade is taken off the table completely, we will continue these demonstrations in all major cities in the UK against Baileys and Balfour's. If it isn't completely taken off the table and it's replaced with uh, NVQ level 3 uh, apprenticeships, we'll be back down here. You've seen what's happened today. This is us with just a few men. Wait until we have hundreds of men coming down here. I don't think they're going to like the outcome. Join us on the picket lines. Join us at the protest. We need your support. Let's do this. No to ESO! No to ESO! No to ESO! No to ESO!